Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Our today's question on array's topic is missing number in array. The question states that given an array C of size n minus 1 and given that there are numbers from 1 to n with one element missing, the missing number is to be found. So we have an array of size n minus 1 and it is given that the array contains numbers from 1 to n among which one number is missing. So we have to find that missing number. The input contains three lines, namely first line denoting the number of test cases second line denoting the size of the array or n so the size of the array will be n minus 1 and the third line contains n minus 1 array elements and we need to output the missing number so let's have a look at the examples in example 1 the size of the array is 4 since the value of n is 5 and the array elements are 1 2 3 5 so here the missing number is 4 similarly in example 2 the value of n is 10 and the size of the array is 9 so here the missing number is 9. So now let's have a look at the approach to solve this particular problem. Let's consider the same example given in the question where the value of n is 5. So the size of the array will be 4 and the array elements are 1, 2, 3, 5. The right side of the screen shows the algorithm to solve this particular problem. The approach is quite simple. We make use of summation formula uh, in maths. That is, uh, in order to find the sum of first n numbers, the formula is n into n plus 1 divided by 2. So we store this value in a variable called total and then we traverse the array from i is equal to 0 to n minus 1 which is the size of the array and at each traversal we keep on adding the value of a of i to sum. That is, the, va the variable sum will contain the, act uh, will contain the actual sum of the array elements and finally we print total minus sum. So initially we calculate the value of total as 5 into 6 divided by 2 which is 15 and we initialize the value of sum as 0 and then we traverse the array from i is equal to 0 so initially the value of sum was 0 and now the value of sum will be updated to 0 plus 1 which is 1 and we increment i now again the value of sum will be incremented to 1 plus 2 which is 3 and similarly we keep on incrementing i until i reaches the end position of the array so the final value of sum will be 11 and now we can print total minus sum so we print the answer as 4 which is the missing number so now we can begin with a code initially we declare a variable t which denotes the number of test cases and then accept the input t then we insert a while loop in order to accept input for each test case and for every test case we declare a variable n though the size of the array is n minus 1 but we need to accept n as our input we also declare few more variables called sum and initialize it with 0 we also declare another variable called total as we have seen in our explanation part we need not initialize with it with anything so we accept the input n and declare array of size n minus 1 and finally we accept the array elements While accepting the array elements, we also calculate the sum as sum is equal to sum plus a of i. So we need not run another for loop to calculate sum. And finally we can output total minus sum as the answer which, which is the missing number. We need to also calculate the value of total as n into n plus 1 divided by 2 and that's it we are done with the code we can compile it to check whether it runs successfully
and a code is compiled successfully so now we can submit it and a code got submitted successfully so if you found this video helpful then do hit that like button and subscribe to my youtube channel for more such upcoming videos on must do coding questions for interview preparation thank you